Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Today we've got a proper video. We have got a shoe video, ladies and gentlemen. I know you've been waiting for this shoe video to come out. Um, if you're on my socials, listen, go to Snicker Enterprise. I'm going to put the link down below. Make sure you follow my account. We've got a lot of things that we sell. We sell clothing, we sell shoes, Jordans, Yeezys, Dunks, you name it. Just hit us up anyways. So, today, managed to secure two pairs of the Nike SB Dunk Highs. These are the Platinum Edition, such a very good colorway. Now, I'm going to ask a question. Why does, you know, uh, Jordan brand and the Nike brand bring the best colors at the wrong season? This is a summertime, spring, summertime color, but it's came out like in autumn right now. And we're in lockdown as well, so we ain't got nowhere to go. It's always shocking, you know? So, right, so we got these two pairs. We've got a UK size 9 and a UK, sorry, UK size 9.5 and a UK size 6 as well. So... It's his and hers, basically. They say good things coming, pairs. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to give you, like, you know, three things that I like about this shoe and three things that I dislike about this shoe. See what I've done there? Mm-hmm. Now, me, personally, I don't wear a size 9.5. I wear a size 11. You know what they say about guys that wear big shoes? It means they wear big socks. Ha-ha! <laughs> I got you there. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know the ones there. You need to clean your minds up, yeah? So, the three best things I like about this shoe are the colorway. I mean, this is the best color to, you know, uh, to, to put out, really. You've got platinum, sort of like a gray, yes, I would say it's a gray. It's a very, like, light gray, almost like an off-white colorway. And the white as well, it just fits together. It just goes so well together. The second thing I like as well is, it, is also this shoe looks better as a high. Because it's in a high silhouette, it looks better than, like, a normal silhouette, you know? I mean, it's a beautiful silhouette. I really, really do like it. Then the third thing I'll say that I like as well is also the... It's just the fit and finish. The leather feels so soft. It's supple leather. You can stroke it if you want to. Not in a freaky way, but, you know, in a, in a some way. You can stroke it as well. So it's nice vibe. Absolutely. Now, what are the three things that I don't like about this shoe? Now, the three things that I don't like about this shoe, firstly, is the laces. The laces, they feel quite cheap. And don't provide you with extra laces as such. I don't know why. They haven't provided any extra laces on my pair. I'll check on this one as well. No. Funny enough, with the Michigans and the Spartans, I was given extra pairs of laces. But even then, they're always quite cheap. I prefer, like, very thick laces. You know, especially, like, in winter. But this shoe, I probably would put, like, maybe... Uh, what kind of laces are we saying? I would put maybe, like... Uh, I'll play with the colours a little bit. I'll put, like, maybe, like sort of a, a darker green on one side then put a brown on the other side i know it's controversial but you know what we're in winter so if i want to make this shoe like you know fit towards winter i'd probably like put like a yeah maybe like a darker brown and a gray do you know what i mean yeah so that was the first thing so the second thing i don't like about this shoe is you know with the dunks i always tend to compare the you know the fit and finish of the you know of the gloom of the of the sole to the main body part, I always compare that to the Jordan ones. And I found with the Jordan ones, they always have that like finesse, that finesse. You know what I mean? That finish, that fit and finish is always perfect. Whereas with the high dunks, you always find like they tend to suffer. You know, I don't know uh, where it's been made, but like you know, I've noticed that like quite a few times that like you know the stitching sometimes can be just a bit off, and the gluing as well. And just I mean, if I show you guys, I mean, look at that. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you look at the sole there and the main body part, the fit and finish is not as great as... And also, if you look at these, it's, like, dented over there. So, it doesn't seem like it's a very durable shoe. But, really, I don't wear shoes that often. I always wear, like, you know, one pair, maybe every couple of months, so it's not really a problem. But apart from that, you know, it's still a very good shoe. I wouldn't say, like, don't be, you know, uh, dissuaded. If that's a word, dissuaded. Babe! Babe! Never mind, she's probably got her headphones on. So yeah, um, the third thing that I do not like about this shoe is also how like certain little details like this kind of get lost. See the Nike there, it's also like in platinum. It'll be nice to like probably in black, so you can see the Nike as well. Just the little touches, the little contrast of colors is always a nice little thing as well. So if they'd made that in, if they'd like made the font for the Nike in black, that'd have been a nice little pop up. And also, um, I think with this little kind of like little strap, if you will, over here. It would have been nice if that was silver as well. I feel like silver's being, um, it's, I feel like silver is, is, is not as prevalent as much as white. There's just so much white 
and I think when you've got so much white, you need sort of like a bit of a slightly darker. So I, I imagine maybe if the grey was a bit more prominent, that would have been absolutely fantastic. But nonetheless, it's still a very, very beautiful shoe. Now, the question that I get all the time, oh, what can I wear with this shoe? It is simple, guys. You can wear like your essentials joggers. I'm, I'm into like essential stuff, so essentials, fear, essentials by fear of God. So you can actually wear essentials fear of God, you know, track tops and, you know, joggers. And that'll be quite a vibe. You can still also wear these with some baggy trousers. Now I've seen like quite a lot of people that are now wearing like these baggy trousers that I've got like, sort of like a boot cut on the bottom. So you can actually wear these with them as well. You can also wear like, you know, baggy jeans as well that are obviously accommodating for these. But I'd be very careful like what sort of jeans that you wear because a lot of jeans that are quite cheap, you find the die comes off and you don't want it to be going onto your shoe. Now, where are you going to wear this shoe during lockdown? Nowhere. If you're like a an instagram influencer obviously take pictures that's a totally different story like me i take pictures all the time so yeah and what i was going to say about this shoe guys it's a very beautiful shoe it is not for sale now i'm going to compare these shoes to uh my other dunks that i've got so if you guys just hang on a second let me show you right so Now, obviously, when you look at the Spartans, these are very different. They just pop out, don't they? Very different, yeah? Proper gorgeous. Then I've also got the, uh, the Spectrums, the Michigans. I'm going to show you the Michigans. Then, bam, you have got the Michigans as well. These are quite beautiful, very different as well as well as you can see so what i'm going to do i'm going to put like a social media picture of all the high dunks that i've got i'll put them next to each other so you guys can like so guys I'm just going to sign out now because i've you know i'm quite i'm quite against the clock today i'm quite busy so please make sure you share like subscribe hit the bell notification and all that business and i will see you guys soon peace out take care Boof. let's go